hi guys <laughs> good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching how are you doing how are you guys doing family members i've missed you guys on the channel it's been a long time since i did a sit down video where i get to chit chat with you guys and it's a privilege to be here today to do this with you guys like the title of the video is already telling you guys we are going to be taking a live pregnancy test and it's not because i owe anybody any explanation or because i'm debunking anything but i don't know how to put it it's just to i don't know like i say it's just to reduce the congratulations that i've been getting recently on my dms and it's not as if i feel bad about it you get me it's not a bad thing most of you guys would see me post something and you'll be like congrats ma um i can see it in your nose i can hear it in your voice um the other day i post i think uh, that was last week or so and i posted something in the video i, I just if you follow me on instagram you know how i always play with my kids right we play with filters a lot so i did this um just short story and I was complaining of not feeling well in that video and somebody said don't worry with time you will get better this is just the early stage I didn't feel bad I was just laughing we even discussed a little bit after that I was just sending her tongue out tongue out you know we're laughing but in my head I'm like wait let's take a pause it's like the 70 percent of my viewers on this channel the family members we have here we are 170 of us here we just want baby we want a baby we want a pregnancy and you guys are not seeing it coming right so we are feeling like it's like she's hiding it from us she's pregnant she's hiding it from us anyways if it should happen now and for some personal reasons i am my husband we now decide, you know, not to share or we decide to share at a certain point in time during the pregnancy. <clears throat> I feel like it's still okay. You get me. It's fine. And if I feel like sharing immediately, it's still fine. I have personal reasons that would want to make me share immediately. I've mentioned this in, I have a PT, um, this thing here. So, um, I've shared it here before that if it should happen i'm not want to you know start coming with different clickbait videos or start giving you reasons to believe that oh she is and she's just trying to pull her legs until she share or i don't know what you think i don't know what you always think sha but this is me just trying to clear you guys that anything we do now and we see is what i am having i've turned this thing as you guys can see nothing is here right so i'm going to dip this in there's a little cup here with my urine and i'm not going to show you i'm going to dip it there and show you guys the results and then discuss something with you guys because most of you guys have asked um i was given two years will i like to or would i be willing to get pregnant by that two years right let me dip it while i talk so will i be willing to get pregnant when it gets to two years, that's after the um, rupture. Please ignore my voice. My voice is just coming back. This is three weeks. I lost my voice a few weeks back. And um, there's something I am currently treating. It's helping me regain my voice back. I never knew that because of this thing. <laughs> I would just, you guys, just plenty. Just to do it in plenty. That's why you guys have not been seeing me. Most of you guys have been telling me, ah, I know why you've been away. So I just dipped it. I'm going to drop it here. There's a tissue on my lap. I'm just going to drop it down wait for a while. So some of you guys have been like, ah, I know this year a way, way, way you did. So it be like I say it don't happen. Wishing you all the best. I appreciate all those sweet messages. Honestly, I am grateful for the community, the little community that are so, you know, so concerned about me most of the time. I am grateful for the fact that. You guys, you are wishing me well. Pregnancy is a good thing. It's a good thing. It's it's a good thing. So, you are wishing me well. Whenever I see such messages, I'm like, you don't want this baby more than I do. 
you don't want it more than my children do my husband don't even came but they saying it so it's okay but <laughs> for some personal reasons i've mentioned this before to my friends and they will tell me say ah don't worry now to go come yes so if to come i know go cry if to come i know go cry when we get to that bridge we'll cross it you know but I'm, i've been very vocal about my feelings towards getting pregnant again with my friends and with the people i you know really open up to i don't think i've mentioned it here on the channel but right from my recovery bed i was asking my surgeon <laughs> but i was asking him okay how soon can one get pregnant after the rupture how bad is the rupture because me at, at that point i didn't even know what a uterian rupture was and he went as far as you know giving me different experiences he shared some of his past clients um, and then gave me the number of months or years that i should wait for if i would like to get pregnant again and to be honest with you guys let me share let me turn this thing and share it with you guys <laughs> let me turn it and share it with you guys everything is positive then drop your congratulations drop your best wishes in the comment section and if it turns out to be negative mm, still wish me all the best abby so let's check i'm not going to open my eyes <laughs> what is this showing what is this showing what's that okay okay so this is a big fat negative <laughs> not a big fat positive this is negative very very negative can you guys see very 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 negative today is march 25th they could not leave me make i rest though they could not keep all the congratulations we'll tell each other when the time comes for now i beg i beg i beg there's a lot going on health wise that i feel like i need to really take care of and i feel like god is just exposing all this sickness because i had them when i was pregnant with my last baby and there were so many things i experienced then that ignorance and you know the fact that i don't even know what you know no you know no you get me contributed to a lot of the symptoms that i suffered in that pregnancy and i feel like my next pregnancy even if it could be my last i don't know god wants me to enjoy it so hence the reason why he's exposing all these sicknesses that i've been treating just last week i discovered two things one in my left eye the other one i would just you guys about it because i feel like a lot of okay i was asking my friend yesterday and i was surprised to find out that she doesn't even know about it i don't want to go into details but i know that there are so many people so long as sickness is concerned there are so many people on here all over the world who may not know this so i'm going to share with you guys once i am done with my treatment my medications i am done i repeat my test and i find that this thing is you know is gone is healed now i can share with you guys okay but for now if you get any problem with your wrists don't just conclude on one or two things anyways as i was saying before it was from that sojourn that you know i got to know about a lot a lot a lot concerning uterian rupture that i had to even do research on um i joined a few groups and right now i feel like this is march i was given june that's two years march april may june i have like three months to go back so my my experience and my research if it happened now it's not a big deal it's not a big deal but make i take care of myself first finish it gets me so this is just to one clear you i am not thank you for all the congratulations the well wishes everything all the um what do they call it online aunties and uncles and grandmama and grandpapas god bless you all for always wishing me the best see but i don't want to say this i'll, I'll tell you guys in a different video but may god grant us our heart's desires if he doesn't grant them now then there's hope in the future okay in the future we'll go born as plenty as we want born <laughs> we will born them and they will not bring stress to us you get me but for now i still want to give birth to one more 
one more or nine more you get if i see 10 roads safe to burn 10 i'll go burn 10. Mm -hmm. so that's to tell you that gladys i have started my ttc journey and i hate it so much because i've experienced it before with genesis and my last baby before genesis i did to sit for two years before he came and after generous i did to sit for close to three years before our last baby came if i am not mistaken two to three years sure and finally she came now those kind of baby that they call omo wami that my baby is supposed they now picking why i suppose they look they always 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 praise god because with the things that i am finding out now i don't even know that pregnancy take enter i don't know but i believe that it is what it is that's happened, right? So with that one, it took me two to three years before I was able to conceive. And now again, officially, I have started. Though I told you guys in the whole video that we were actively preventing bar. This one now is, I am actively trying again. So start to blow, what do they call it? Baby dust or what? Congratulations in advance is allowed. Anyways, I hope we are clear now. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, please do take good care of yourself, okay? Bye, guys.